In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate the speed, period, and acceleration of a satellite. The question reads, calculate the speed, period, and radial acceleration of a satellite placed in orbit 400 kilometers above the Earth. Now it's important to mention that a satellite moves in a circular orbit around a planet, whether it be a moon or whether it be something artificial. The gravitational forces that exist between the satellite and the planet supplies the center directed acceleration necessary to make the satellite move in a circular orbit. This can be represented mathematically by setting the gravitational force formula equal to the centripetal force formula shown here. So we have the gravitational force represented as capital G times M sub 1, M sub 2 over radius squared is equal to the mass times the velocity to the power of 2 over R. Now if you analyze this equation further, you can actually solve for V, which will represent the speed. And once you've solved for V, you can use this formula, which replaces V with 2 pi R over T, and that represents the linear velocity along a circular path. And the radial acceleration can also be found by substituting your velocity in for the centripetal acceleration formula shown here. Now if that's confusing to you, let me show you what I mean. So if I set this mass as m sub 1, you'll have a m sub 1 factor on the left side and 1 on the right side, and that means they cancel out. Solving for v, I multiply both sides by r. This r and this r will cancel out. And this r and one of these r's will cancel out, leaving us with a single r in the denominator position. So I have g times m sub 2 over r is equal to v squared, and we square root both sides to get rid of that exponent 2. So if I square root both sides, I end up with the following. Now if I want to find the speed of this satellite orbiting the Earth, m sub 2 represents Earth's mass, and that's 6.0 times 10 to the power of 24 kilograms. So I'll substitute that value into there. I'll substitute the gravitational constant in for g, and in for r is the orbit that's 400 kilometers, but of course you need to represent that in meters, okay? And you also have to include the radius of the Earth. So it's the radius of the Earth plus 400 kilometers made into meters. Let me show you what I mean. So I'll write down radius is 4 times 10 to the power of 5 meters plus the radius of the Earth, and normally that's given to you in the question. It's not given here, but normally your teacher will provide it for you, and it's 6.4 times 10 to the power of 6 meters. So all of that, the sum here, will go into there, and we have everything we need to find the velocity. Using our calculator, we'll write down the square root of the value of g, 6.7 times 10 to the power of negative 11, that gets multiplied to the mass of the Earth, 6.0 times 10 to the power of 24. And that gets divided by the sum of those two values. I'll move my calculator. So the sum is 4 times 10 to the power of 5 plus 6.4 times 10 to the power of 6. Close parentheses. And that means the velocity of the satellite is 7,688. I'll simply round this down to three significant figures as 7,690 meters per second. Those are the units for velocity. Now, we also need to know the period. And we will set this equal to the linear velocity along a circular path formula. So I'll set that equal to 2 pi r over t. And by solving for t, the time, we found the period. We have the radius, and it's this value right there. Again, we have to sum it up. And solving for t is not hard. We just multiply both sides by t, and then divide both sides by the factor 7, 6, 9, 0. So if t is equal to 2 pi and the sum of those two, whatever it is, over 7690. 
So let's see what that gives us if we plug it into our calculator. 2 times pi, and make sure that you use the pi button on your calculator, times 4 times 10 to the power of 5, plus 6.4 times 10 to the power of 6. Divide that by 7, 6, 9, 0, and we end up with a period being 5,560. That value is in seconds, so you can change that into minutes if you like. And you can change it into minutes. Let me write this down. 5556 five, seconds. There are 60 seconds in a minute. So dividing this by 60 gives us 92.6. 92 or 93 minutes. Make it simple. And lastly, the radial acceleration, you use this formula. So you take whatever your velocity was, you square it, and you divide it by the radius. All right, let me write that down. The velocity was 7690, raise that to the power of 2, and then divide it by, again, the sum of those two numbers. 7690 to the power of 2 divided by 4 times 10 to the power of 5 plus 6.4 times 10 to the power of 6. And we get an acceleration of 8.69, which I'll simply round to 8.7 meters per second squared. Now, of course, when you do these problems, you want to include the units along the way. The reason I excluded them throughout the calculations is because I knew what the outcome was going to be. I knew that acceleration was going to be meters per second squared. And I knew that the velocity was going to be meters per second. So I didn't want to run through all the units and it would make a mess, but you get the idea. And there you have it. That is how to calculate the speed, period, and acceleration of a satellite.